I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. And uh, right now we are wandering, uh, wandering through a Dwemer, uh, Falmer, and Falmer ruin to hunt a thieves guild uh, guy by the name of Mercer Frey. And unfortunately, I've become separated from my companions, and I'm not quite sure where they are. Uh, looks like they're a little bit further back. I want to turn to the right and head a, uh, head forward. I wonder if I'm meant to walk up on top of this pipe. It might be. No, maybe not. Nowhere special I can go up here. Let's keep on moving. Ooh, well. So have I been here before? No. Okay, so let's actually put our Frost Hatcher knock in our left hand and our Bound Bow in the right. And this should... Hopefully this will bring our uh, lost companions back to where we are. And he hasn't seen us yet. Bernilf, watch the door. I lost. Nothing's getting by me. Climb down that ledge. See if you can... Carlia, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? Ooh. That's not good. I could feel a sudden shift in the wind. And at that moment, I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade. What's Carlyle been filling your head with? Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guilt. Then it appears the sh Our actions have always been one and the same. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key. Instead, you've chosen to fall. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale Black. Carlyle, I'll deal with you after I rid myself of your hurt. Your what, evil attempt to happening? hide is insulting. Unfortunately, he's invisible. He's taken control of you. Unfortunately... Okay, I think that's him down there. And he's coming back up here, I think. Whoop. But fortunately, my summon can uh, is very good at seeing where he is. So I'm going to wait until he kills my summon. I'll bring a, uh, a new one. Well, if he can kill my summon. My summon seems to be doing pretty well. Go summon. I'm not sure if there's anything important for me to do up here. Okay, there my summon is dead, but looks like he's going to be fighting my summon again, and I will just see if I can hold back here and uh, maybe provide a little bit of little bit of uh, remote support. Very heroly. Or heroic, I, sh I suppose is the right word. He somehow healed himself all the way back up again. Where'd he go? I think I see him. Oh. Where's my shield? Shield and Frost Tetranach. Okay, 
that will be good. Except he's again running off that way. Yeah, it would be nice if he didn't have the ability to heal quite so well. Wait, where did he go? Yeah, healing and invisibility, they're a pretty nice combination. We're gonna summon another one of these guys. And a bound bow. Actually, I wonder if I can just shout him off the cliff. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. But, oh, where are you? Okay, so that's what I needed. never liked this part of the game, because it is possible to accidentally drown here. Um, so... Somewhere, I think, near the ceiling is a way out. Somewhere up here. Uh, let's hope that I don't miss it and drown. Shoot. Fortunately, I have some potions of water breathing, I think. Which should delay the death a little bit. Let's see if my map will help at all. No, not really. And it's kind of dark in here. This is one of those times when I kind of wish that I had some... Oh! It's that. Aha, uh -huh, here's the way out. Good. Oh, and my Frost Atronach somehow swum out. Well, that is fine by me. Oh, and Serana is bad. Important things to do. We'll speak another time. I can't believe it's over. Twenty-five years in exile, and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the Skeleton Keeper. I'm afraid it's not. When the Skeleton Key was the only way to bring it back, it wasn't created for the Nightingale. As a consequence, Brynjolf is needed. And I, I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your... Oh, this great. I've had okay. this for almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I've been a Nightingale. Falling in love with Gallus was wrong. Until the key is returned, I will never set foot inside that place. The agent of stealth. A moment nights are in dark and dry. The agent of sub by weaving the darkness to their will. This agent can the conduit the Twilight Sepulchre. It's through this conduit that we're given not 
Even though Nocturnal does, of course, they never come as part of their duties. The pri these priests weren't a threat. One of their ceremonies, if a pilgrim was able to complete them, this agent of at the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making okay. it stronger. Okay, whatever. Let's, let's go then. Sorry, lass. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Okay, so we are going to go take care of uh, returning this uh, this skeleton key. Now, if you'd like, you can actually uh, keep it and uh, and not finish this quest. And the key never breaks, but lockpicks are cheap, so I normally don't bother with that. there I am apparently heading west ah so that is a really kind of obscure part of the map so if this quip uh, or if this quote is true it's modern heroes are generally douches because again most of the Daedric artifacts you can get require you to do very nasty things. Like with one of them, I think it's a weapon which gains strength the more of your friends you kill with it, which is pretty awful. Another one requires you to betray um, betray a follower by luring them uh, somewhere and then killing them. So yeah, I've, I've never actually done those quests and I would be uh, rather uncomfortable uh, trying to do them but they are required to get those particular Daedric artifacts. Okay. Oh, don't tell me there's another dragon. Who's there? Oh, no, that, that's not a... Well, that, that's probably a dragon troop, but I think there's a Spriggan uh, nearby. So if we head due west, we will find the Sepulchre, and we're going to ignore... that fight. And, oh shoot. Okay, we don't have a choice. So, fast Atronach to distract the dragon. And uh, Bounce Bow to actually do some damage to it. But, yeah, oh, kind of close, though. I really don't want that thing to bite me. Pretty good hits on me. And I'm not that far from being overburdened, and I don't know what that is up ahead. I'm not sure if I really want to face it, whatever it is. Anyhow. I want to be continue westward, is that right? 
Yeah, pretty much straight west. I know that Serana deal with whatever that is. But yeah, because I'm a vampire and it's daytime, my regeneration rate for stamina is very unimpressive. Still slowly regenerating, but... Okay, almost there. And I think there are some wolves down there that are trying to get me. So this is one of the goofier uh, dungeons in the game. We are charged with finding the journal of, um, let's see, what is it? There's a journal right behind me somewhere, somewhere back here. So let's go find it. Whoa. Okay, there's the journal. And this place is a little bit tricky and weird, but uh, you will see how in a moment. And I'm gonna keep on working on training my s summoning ability. And let's keep on moving. that interested in fighting. But you can go. So this is an area where the physics of the game are, are kind of goofy and where 
if you end up standing in the light, you end up taking damage. So you want to be careful where you step. And stay in the shadows. And there are a number of arrow traps around here, which you should be able to deal with. So yeah, just... Just stay out of the brightly lit areas and you should be fine. More or less. Okay, definitely don't want to go there. Yeah, because... But anyhow, yeah, Zappy... death comes from above if you step into a brightly lit area. Unless you light it yourself. I think you're safe if you do candle light. Okay. Then here's a final area where I'm just going to be ready to summon an Atronach when I need to. statue and a bandit who somehow made him uh, his way into here um, let's see somewhere around here was Okay, so let's go read that book again. Oh, that is not helpful. Wait, was it Gallus's journal? No, that was the rat guy. Was it just journal? No. Hmm. I wish that I had paid a little bit more attention. I don't remember how to open this uh... Did it have something to do with the candles? No. Hmm. Let's see. it had to do with anything back here. Um, let's see. Uh, did I need to light the candles? I guess I could see if casting fire magic on them anything. No, and that seems to be charring the statue. Um, Sweet. 
Okay, Frost Atronach and um, do maybe a Bound Bow would be better. that bad. I can handle a few traps. And Ooh, goodness. Well, let's save just to make sure. Oh yeah, so I think here we wanted to use the key. Or did we? Was that the right thing? No? Um. I guess we just... I guess that did it. My mom. What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. Yeah, definitely Norse mythology so, there. Once again, um, has been Hugin and Munin were the two uh, the two ravens that represented, I think, wisdom and knowledge. What you failed to realize is your actions were expected and represents nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. Have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Evanmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, my dear. See to you the key stay this time, won't you? Hmm. Okay, so I guess that's that. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Oh, and I think of her as I assure you, but she, the circle, is, the crescent moon represents the agent of shadow. The half moon. This is not. If you ever feel the need, be warned that once you've chosen, you can't. Now, your life as a nightingale. The guild has welcomed you. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things. Why, perhaps there are pocket. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves. Okay, well, good that is fine by me. Whatevs.
and uh, and now we're done with this this quest line. As I mentioned, it is one of my favorite quest lines. But we do have a whole bunch of other quests that we want to wrap up. So we're not really that near the end of the game, but we're progressing along uh, pretty far. And at level 51 we should be. Now you imagine someone painting their face that much, they're probably going to... Okay with the dark. They're probably not going to do great things for their complexion with that much paint. Anyhow. So, we have something to return to Solitude, particularly to the Bard's College. And then we have, uh, we should return to Castle Volokar and uh, let them know that another part of the quest is done. And I think the Moth Priest should be back there by now. Now I don't remember if this Bard's instrument uh, is for the um, the warrior, the thieves, or the mages uh, set of skills, but either way, it is uh, it should be helpful. Okay, so for a dragon to attack Kynes Grove. Why? Why this? So exciting when new. Oh, is this the uh, the crazy dude? That you've had plenty of adventures. Fletching. Ah, yet another new face. I'm from where the dragon. We've heard rumors of death, and and that we should soon be selling arrows by the bush. Aye, and there is still, and far to the west lies a ruin. There are wonders in this place I never dreamed imaginable. If I uh, didn't know better, I'd almost think that you work for Bethesda. Okay, so... I wonder if these guys will be in the room. Maybe. Divine smile on your friend. Okay, so he's not the one who wanted the instrument that I have. Don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Ask me, your skin's as pale as the snow. Are you scared of sunlight or something? Okay, let's try this one. What's not brilliant? Always good to talk. Low bar. Ah, uh, yes. Well, Inga. Where is Inga? Inga is turn left and go straight ahead. Somewhere. No, it should be just a bit to my oh. Only what? There is no way I can pay you what this loot is worth, but I can teach you a few tricks I've learned over the years. Okay, so th these are the thief skills uh, that I get some if improvements in. Like Which are that's not the most useful to me, but oh well.
Okay, and now we're going to head back to the castle. And there's my horse, again. It's a very loyal uh, horse. Loyal and presumably clever enough to... Well, and it's a weird horse for making its way to an island in the middle of an ice ocean. I guess it really likes following me around. Okay, so is oh yeah, getting uh, I'm perhaps over relying. Yes, I see that. I wish. Well, your thrall awaits, and we have given him the Elder Scroll. Command him to read it, and let us hear Master, the words of prophecy. I have done as you asked and traveled here. Of course. Ah, yes, the Elder. Of course, Master. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. Now, I'd like to read it too. Everyone will be quiet. I must concentrate. Of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light. Hmm. He's getting all that from a bunch of circles and lines. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. Okay, so... That was not as useful as I would have liked. Even so, you did well. My traitor wife, as for the other, it seems our work is not yet done. But I have waited this long, and we are so very close now. I can wait a bit longer. Okay, so we need to go get if you need anything, the other say the two word. scrolls. I can still forge a decent blade. Do you have a moment to talk? That moth praised Dexian. Didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. You know, I hoped that if he saw me, But I guess I don't... I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. We need to... She'll definitely know where it is. The last time I saw her, she said that... She, other than that, she wouldn't tell me... But the way she said it... Some place he would never search. It was crypt... Maybe. What I can't... Besides, I... 
Any ideas? I doubt my mother. They probably would have tried to kill her, and that has a way of self. Any other ideas? I don't think it had to be anything else. Yep. Thankfully, the uh, the game itself only gives you three uh, chances. So basically, your character is figuring out things that uh, you aren't. Trust me. There's an unused, an old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. Come on, it's just around the side. Okay, but first, I would like to see if I can sell some of this uh, stuff that I'm carrying around. Find life in the castle to be. I've scrounged up a few things. Here, please. Oh wow, he has uh, over 7,000 gold. That is handy. So, I'm not going to be using bolts. I've enchanted uh, some of this stuff up nicely. And I wonder if... I'm afraid you're beyond my oh, eager well, that's a bit of a bummer. I'm happy to help if I can. But I can see what I can do some of the rest of this, and now we've pretty much drained his uh, yeah, he's out of money to buy stuff I'd better get going. but that's okay so we can t do we have anything else that we can learn from? No. Good. So, let's Enchant this up. Oh, come on. Yes. What did you need? Lock and uh, a shock. And sneak and I think one-handed that would be useful. Well, I mean, not useful. We're not going to use any of this, but... Oh. Paralyze and... Fear. Yeah, since we don't yet have the Banish Enchantment. But yeah, that transformed these things into being yes. potentially mean? useful. Life here is better than you could find anywhere in Skyrim. Well, except it's kind of cold in here, but otherwise you're probably right. Yeah, we've... We're going to be heading outside and walking around the side of the castle. And this actually leads you to another particularly cool place in the world of... Uh, well, it's uh, another particularly cool place in the game. I was going to say a particularly cool place in Skyrim, but that's not entirely accurate. Except in the sense that it's in the game of Skyrim. Okay, so... The side entrance to the castle is over this way. Those birds are flying kind of low. And this is... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, managed not to die. That's always a plus. Fortunately, those guys are not particularly well armed, so you can just kind of ignore them. Yeah, this takes us to the underside of the castle. And I'm going to see if I can manage to sprint my way through here. I 
and ignore a lot of kind of uninteresting fights. And that is a lesser vampire. Okay. Oh, okay. There's nothing really useful there. So... Oh, come on. Move. Not interested in fighting you. So... Kind of interesting trying to, uh, to play through here without trying to score direct kills. Uh, some little bit of potionry here. Oh, well, I guess I do need to cut my way through this stuff. Oh, there is a giant spider. But I am pretty well armored, and that drops down another part of. That area there. Let's keep moving. Oh, I shouted that dog to death. Almost feel bad for him. Almost. Okay, was it this way or this way? Let's see. Which way have I not been yet? I guess this way. So let's head up and continue around. Yeah, so So this is the courtyard of the castle, and this is where uh, her mother uh, used to have a, uh, a big garden. And in order to help out, we need to repair the sundial. So let's see. There are broken plates for the sundial lying around. This was my mother's garden. Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Probably would be pretty cool. Okay, so there's one part of the uh, sundial. Crest. Um, okay, that's not the crest I have, and there should be one more missing somewhere. Yeah, the game is being a little bit ambulicious here. So I'm not sure if the if the crests are in the same place each each time or if they're. Uh, Position is partly randomized. Um, hmm. And I'm not sure if the map, if the mini map, can help with that or not. I think there's one more uh, crest piece that's that's missing. Hmm. Maybe it's down here. It can help to reduce visual clutter by aha. There we go. And I 
can't. Very clever, mother. Very clever. Can't be. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower roofs. I can't imagine how much machinery you would need to uh, to make something like that work well. This is basically a long and slow climb, and I am going to again see if I can manage it by uh, by skipping uh, most of the fights. Uh, there are a bunch of skeletons down there, but I'm just going to see if I can avoid bothering with them. Fortunately, Serana being invincible, don't need to worry about her safety. Uh, is this the right way? This might not be the right way. No, maybe it is. Okay, this is definitely not the right way here. I guess these guys don't have that much in the way of impressive weapons, so I can just keep on going. And that looks like a pulley thing behind this guy. So let's see what it does. Oh. Nothing all that interesting out here. So... I don't know what this did. Oh wait, I think maybe it lifted this. Okay, yeah. So we will keep on climbing. And there is a locked door here. Okay, and it looks like locked door is a little bit to the right. Not a lot to the right at a moderate amount. A little bit more than that, probably. Oh, come on. And it's definitely not that much. Okay, that is the right amount. And here's another and more. And you are going over and down. Okay. Where am I going? Well, hopefully not in the wrong direction. Oh, come on. I guess I can, might as well summon a friend here to, uh, to help. Yeah, I just don't particularly want to bother with, uh, with killing all these critters. But I do get the feeling so that's down. This is down and up. I think up is generally the direction that we want to be going. So, and around and further up and further up and further up. I think these guys probably come to life. And 
this is a secret door. So, more of an upwards path. And here we are. So, we have to wait, I think, for Serana to catch up, which might take a bit because she's probably going to be fighting a lot of those monsters down there, so this will be a good breaking point. I'll see you in the next play. I'm Pat Gunn, and this is uh, my Let's Play of Skyrim.